Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel MV's Code Guide. Today we are going to create spell checker using Python. So as all of us know, there is a huge community support in Python. So we literally have so many, so many libraries to work with and to create the project easily. So today also we are going to take the support of the community and use predefined libraries and everything to create this mini mini project spell checker okay so to create spell checker using python first of all we will install the library text blob this is the name of the library that we are going to use to create the project install text blob and for that purpose we need to put the command pip install whatever library you want to install you need this command pip install so you have to write pip install text blob that is the name of the library text blob and the step number two is import that text blob library to your program so as we know uh, without importing the package to the program we cannot use that package so if we need to use any of the external package in our program we have to import it first and then use it so we will be importing text blob to our program and then we will use the correct method of text blob class so we are importing package text blob inside the text blob package we have a class named as text blob only so text blob class has a function or has a method correct method that can be used to correct the misspelled word okay so these are the steps that we need to follow and we will be ready with the project okay so let's start this and see how can we code for this For the coding purpose, I'm going to be using this VS Code IDE. You can use any IDE of your own choice or you can go with Python shell as well. Uh, it is not a very complicated code that we are going to discuss today. So you can use Python shell as well. It is completely up to you. Uh, for the VS Code, to run the terminal, we can actually run the terminal directly from VS Code. If we click Terminal and New Terminal, as you can see, we have opened this command prompt. Uh, inside the IDE okay so if you're not using uh, this IDE VS code you can directly open the command prompt from here or you can just write in the search box CMD and a command prompt will be opened here so in any way you can open this command prompt I'm gonna be using this IDE only so I'll be writing the command here the same command you can write in your command prompt as well okay so I'll be writing pip install text text blob okay text blob is the name of the package that we are going to install uh, you'll be using this command pip install only uh, for any package to install in your machine so let me press enter if I press enter it will take some time to process and here it is showing requirement already satisfied because I have already installed this package it is showing me this message in your machine uh, it won't uh, look the same uh, there will be some processing and there will be a message uh, successfully installed there will be message like that and then you can proceed okay so after installing text blob package we will write the code to write the code firstly we will create the file okay so to create the file as you can see I have this explorer kind of thing okay here it is explorer inside this explorer is my folder spell checker by MV okay this is the name of my folder in the inside this folder I have to create my file so I'll be creating the file by clicking here new file and I'll be writing the name of my file main.py .py extension is important because I need to write the python code so I'll be writing .py and now here uh, it is opened main.py here I'll be writing the code as we all know uh, without using import statement you cannot use any package at all I will write here from text blob that is the name of the package I need to import a class and the name of the class is text blob uh, where T is capital and B is capital this is the name of the class and this is the name of the package from this package I need this class so I am importing this class only and now I will use this class to correct my incorrect word so first of all I will take a misspelled word 
misspelled word this is the name of the object okay i am taking uh, the name by my choice misspelled word and here i'll be saving a misspelled word or any word with incorrect spelling so suppose i take the word i n c o r r c t so i'm purposely skipping this uh, letter e or uh, alphabet e so that this spelling is incorrect and now i will uh, use this text blob class to correct this uh, this word the spelling of this word so i will create another object corrected corrected word corrected word is equal to now i am using text blob class inside the text blob class here i'll be providing the misspelled word that i need to correct whatever word i need to correct i can directly pass here or uh, i can pass the name of the object here and i am going to call it directly call the function correct okay this is the method correct method and as you can see the definition of correct is attempt to correct the spelling of the blob okay so whatever the spelling we are specifying here it will check if it is incorrect it will try to correct that word and it will return the corrected word over here now we just need to print the statements or print the output so first of all i'll print the incorrect word okay incorrect word that is misspelled word okay and the corrected word is corrected word is this okay so i am going to save this and i will run it to run i need to click here now let me run this so here is the output incorrect word is this whatever we specified and the corrected word is this as you can see it has been corrected and uh, this alphabet e is now here i skipped it in the original word so that we can correct it using the code now let me change a uh, change this word to some other word so that we can try another example okay so inside this summary i will skip this a let me save this and let's see if it is able to correct this word summary and i have skipped just a okay now it is correcting it as per my expectation the word a is now here so it is correcting it properly now suppose i take another word and suppose i skip this d okay now let me save this and let's try to run this again i hope this will be corrected successfully okay as you can see the incorrect word was m o n a y where i skipped d and i wanted the result to be monday now the correct word it is giving me is only so this is uh, the problem i was facing uh, using text blob while i was using text blob package this is the problem that i faced many of the words were not correctly identified and i was not very much happy with the results of text blobs so uh, i searched and i found another package that can help me create the spell checker so let me show you that here is it py spell checker so this is another package that you can install you can see this is from the original documentary and uh, to install that also you need pip install py spell checker and the recent uh, version was released on august 15th 2020 now uh, this documentary contains so many things like whatever the methods are there in this uh, package or whatever the classes are there in this package you can use them and how to use them it is specified in this documentary so after uh, reading the documentation i get to know that there is a class spell checker which has unknown method and uh, correction method and candidates method so i'll be using these methods from this class and i'll make a spell checker out of it so before that i would uh, install this py spell checker and then continue the code so let's try this also so inside the terminal i'm going to write pip install pip install py spell checker 
and press enter and it will install this library I have already installed this library as well so the output is requirement already satisfied in your machine it will install this package and the result will be package installed successfully so after installation you can use this inside your python code so I'll be writing from spell checker I want import spell checker class so this is the thing from spell checker package I want this spell checker class and now I'll be using that so suppose I have some misspelled words so according to the documentary and according to this package whatever the misspelled words are we need to add it to the unknown method I'll show you how first of all let us create a misspelled word list so I'll be writing misspelled word misspelled word and equals to now I'm gonna create a list of misspelled words but before that let me create the object of this spell checker class I'll be creating an object spell equals to spell checker okay so this is just an instance of this class if you have the concept of classes and objects it will be very easy for you guys to understand this now I'm going to use this object spell and I'm going to call unknown method unknown method is the method where we are going to specify the misspelled words and inside this unknown what is the definition try to understand the subset of words that do not appear in the dictionary or we can say that we need to specify those words which are not actually in the dictionary because they are misspelled and this package what it will do is it will find the most probable words that are near to these misspelled words and it will give me the output according to that first of all I'll specify a list of misspelled words okay so I have used five misspelled words inside this unknown method okay I have created a list this is a list and inside this list I have specified the misspelled words okay so this is the misspelled words list and now what I need to do is I need to iterate okay so before iterating let me print what is inside this misspelled words okay so that you get an idea what is inside this misspelled word object I have saved it let me run this and show you the output okay the output is a set where each and every misspelled word is there as an item okay inside this set we have misspelled words what I'm printing is misspelled word okay this and if I try to print the type of if I try to print the type of misspelled word let's see what's the output of that I want to know the type of this misspelled word okay try to save it and run it this is the set only okay so this is the set of items where uh, all the items are the incorrect words according to us or misspelled words and we need to correct them I need to iterate each and every word inside misspelled word so I'll be writing for word in misspelled word what I need to do is I'll be using spell checker class and inside the spell checker class there are two methods candidate method and correction method so I'll be using these two methods to uh, create the required output I'll be writing okay spell dot correction okay spell is the name of the object and to call any method of the class I need to call that from the object only using the object only that is why I am using the spell object and inside the spell checker class is the correction method so I am using this correction method inside the correction method I am gonna pass the word so I will be writing word okay this is the word as you can see this I am going to iterate each and every word so for each and every word there will be the corrected version of that misspelled word and I'll also print the candidate words okay spell dot okay spell dot candidate candidates okay and inside that also I'm going to use this word 
spell dot candidates and inside the candidates i'm going to pass this word so for each and every word i'll be getting the corrected word and the list of candidate words that can be put uh, as the corrected word okay so the definition of the correction method says that the most probable correct spelling of the word will be returned so it is going to return the most likely candidate okay as it specifies it is going to return the most likely candidate and what the candidate uh, method does is it returns the set of words that are possible candidates okay so the uh, the set of words that can be used instead of these misspelled words uh, will be returned by this candidates method and the most probable word out of these candidates will be the corrected spelling and it will be returned by the correction method okay let me save this and run so the output is something like this for the first word with python word the corrected word is python and the candidate word is pylon and python so out of these two candidate words the most probable word is returned by the correction method so the corrected word is python but there were two candidate words pylon and python okay so for the spelling a uh, corrected word is spelling and the candidate word was also one only there can be one or more than one word inside these uh, candidate words but there will always be only one word for the corrected one okay so corrected word is money but as you can see candidate words are so many so there are so many words which were uh, near to the word we specified but the most probable one was returned by the correction method and candidates method is going to return each and every word that is uh, likely to replace the misspelled word okay for the summary word uh, the corrected word is returned and the candidate words are these for the incorrect word there is only one candidate also so this is the output and i think this is much more useful than text blob because it is giving me the candidates also and if the corrected word is not uh, my expected word at least i have candidate words to choose from so it is more useful uh, than text blob i guess but it is completely up to you uh, whichever you want to choose you can i am just giving you the two options to make spell checker you can use text blob and you can use py spell checker as well so this is the end of today's video if you are having fun learning with me please like my videos and subscribe to my channel mv's code guide please keep learning and keep supporting thank you